If you're looking to create some amazing AI art for free, then Playground AI is the one for you. It is a free online tool that you can just sign up, log in, and just have a lot of fun. The best part about this tool is that you can go always go in and make edits. So let's say you don't like this panda, you can ask it for it to be a cat. You know, you can make an edit to your existing image or any image that you choose to upload um, in terms of art, or creativity and you just make that edit for you uh, which is pretty cool because a lot of times you have to spend a lot of time and detail and trying to figure things out this one's more user friendly and i highly recommend you checking this out if you're new to the ai art world um, this is up and coming and you can see there's lots of wonderful pictures here as someone's kind of mix up supernatural there but um, there's a lot of drawings there's dark cartoons there's uh, tattoos so a lot of usage out of these art and i recommend you just logging in trying it out and see if you're gonna have some fun in today's video i'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough to see how all this works um you just need to get click on get started on the top and sign in with your google account once you're signed in, you can click on create above and it takes you to this page where it just makes life a lot easier to um, compare to other ones. Uh, to the left here is your prompt. So you just type in exactly what you want to create and it'll create for you. Um, and this part, you can turn on the bar and it will basically uh, not generate whatever it is that you don't want. So if you want, you know, a sombrero, um, and you don't want any gemstones on it, you're going to say, I don't want gemstones on here. Uh, very simple to, to say. Um, down here, you have the filter option. So you have a lot of art styles, uh, as you see, pixels, you know, oil painting. You can have uh, different areas like the wasteland, the, the flat palette. Uh, so many options to choose from is a lot easier if uh, you don't know where to start. Down here, you can just simply upload an image. So let's say you're inspired by a cartoon, you're inspired by certain art. You can upload it and ask it to mix it up for you. Uh, just use for inspiration. I don't recommend you just copying somebody else's work, but um, it's really fun if you wanna add yourself, use yourself, use photos that you've taken. Um, and then to your right, you have the models, uh, Stable Diffusion 1.5, uh, the version 2.1, and then Dolly 2. Um, these are just different models. Feel free to play around and experiment. Um, that just gives you different art uh, versions uh, on this uh, system, this tool here. Um, next is the image dimensions. Uh, as you can see, it goes from 500 pixels all the way up to 1000 um, and then different ratios. If you want a bigger size and sort of like high quality that you can use for your wallpaper and um, commercial use, then I recommend checking out their pro plan. You can create up to a thousand images a day for free on Playground, so that's fun. Uh, and then the pro account is 2,000 images, and of course Dolly 2, the add-on is additional $10 a month. So just use as you need, a thousand is a lot and plenty of good per day. Um, unless you know you don't have any work, you're just sitting here just generating art to make money, then that's, that's cool too. On the right side, you still have the prompt guidance. This will just um, follow your prompt. Do you want it to be very specific or you just want something neutral? I tend to stick to something towards the low medium. That's just a lot easier. And then of course, next one will be the quality and details, same thing. So do you want it to be high quality or just want like medium details? Um, all of this is just you just have to experiment and find out what works for your specific type of art. Uh, down here is the seed. Similar to Mid Journey, you know, you have like a specific number uh, that uh, is tied to the art that you create. So um, that's what that means. And then when you're generating, you can generate just one at a time or up to four. So we're going to do four. And then lastly, you have the private session. This is just, if you're on the pro plan, you don't want people to see what you're doing. Um, that's where you're gonna go. In today's example, we're gonna generate something very simple. It's gonna be a girl wearing a, a face mask with uh, blonde hair and blue eyes with long, braids okay um no filters no uh removals no images and then everything else just keep it basic you can just do Control enter and press on this generate button or there's what i call this a plus sign 
Okay, and then it's going to take a couple seconds to generate. You can see here how easy that was. I'm not too fond of this image here, but that's okay. Uh, maybe we'll do four more and click generate again. All right, so these aren't bad at all. Okay, I don't know what happened to her forehead. She's wearing makeup. This one, she has blue highlights. These are okay. So what I noticed is that the quality of these are not so great. So I'm going to up the quality a little bit and I'm going to add a filter to make it uh, cinematic and then try again. All right, so these are a little bit scary, but you know what? It's still a picture of a girl. Um, I'm going to try something else. Let's do um, just a regular cinematic to see if that's any difference there. I can also go in and sort of remove the face mask or make it white. So I'm just going to give it a color perhaps. Much more cinematic and a little bit closer to what I imagined. I actually think her hair is black. I don't know why. Um, but this one's like the, the closest one that I thought of or even this one. So let's just give it a good rating and we're going to click on this image to edit up top or you can download or just press create variations. It's going to create variations automatically of her. Um, as you can see, what they did is they uploaded that image uh, for you to get the variations. Okay, so this one looks too cartoony for me. This one is pretty good. So let's actually click on this to edit. In the edit mode, you can do so much more and be very specific. So now let's say I don't want her hair to be blonde. I can ask for it to be red or pink or whatever color it is. So here I'm going to say um, pink hair and then press generate. As you can see, her entire face is pink. So that's not exactly where I want it to be. Um, but this tool is really cool. You can just go to add mask, click on the circle. This is the brush and this is the eraser. Um, I can change the size of the brush here. Um, but essentially what I'm doing is I'm going to paint her hair just like you are, let's say in Photoshop, you're just painting what you want to be uh, fixed. So we'll go ahead and do this. Just a rough outline there. And then I'm going to ask for pink hair again. It's just the same thing. And then click on generate. What it does is it selects what it is that you selected and make changes just on that, which is really cool. As you can see, that was really easy. Um, one of my favorite tools to do there. You can also try to do eyes. I find that eyes are a little bit harder to do, but changing your, the hair color is like the easiest. Um, so that's pretty much it in terms of what you can do. Um, you can also just click on edit this image. So this is the new version that you're going to do. I'm going to press on the delete here. So we're not going to make any changes. Um, let's give her a, let's give her some, uh, neck tattoos, right? Let's, uh, let's do that. So we're going to paint her neck here and let's give her a tattoo and press generate and see if it can read that for us. Okay. So that didn't really work, but let me see if we can just do a little bit more here and then add some strength to this. All right. So that did work. Uh, again, the strength is basically the weight that you give your changes. So let's say you really want tattoos, you can just increase that a little bit. I did misspell this word, so I'm gonna try it again to see if we get something else. Tattoo of birds, perhaps? Yeah, so we're able to get some birds. Um, so once you're done with an image, you can just click on save changes and then download these images to your computer. Very easy. Um, you can also change the size. You can see here a thousand by a thousand. Uh, let's do another one. A palace in China. And then we're going to give this a cartoon look. Let's do retro anime. Why not? And then press on generate. All right, so now I can put that in my book, but um, it did change back to one, but you can also do four again. 
and then you can also change the type of model so you can see like how different this would be if you were to ask for something so let's just say um, a palace in china to ancient times it's slightly changed and then press on um, what they do have they have a uh, geometric style okay let's see what that is and as you can see, they added that style in front of your prompt. So essentially that's what they do for you. So if you choose from the filter, it's gonna give it like a quick name and it's gonna add the information for you. I actually think I like this one better. Hmm. It might be better for portraits as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back down to this part right here. Copy the prompt. Go back up top. And we're going to go back to stable division 2.1 and paste that in to see if we can get that cool, cool look there. All right, first impression, this one is more photorealistic. There is no face mask, but she is pretty close. All right, so one of my favorites, a logo for a dog grooming business. Very simple, very easy to see here. Um, maybe we can do you know a cartoon a cartoon logo for a dog grooming business and then press generate yeah so it's definitely fun i highly recommend you checking this out also go back to the playground and look at the uh top prompts here you can get some inspiration on how they do all this a lot of these are very very cool i'm interested to see how they went in and did this because it seems like with this tool you're able to go in and add specific fishes let's say you want to fish up here you can add that in makes it a lot easier to edit rather than just using words right um, since words are hard to come up with sometimes but um, this tool for me is great it's is it better than mid journey um, i would say no in terms of what you can do there but uh, definitely yes when it comes to uh, it's being free and the fact that you can go in and edit a lot of things so i would maybe even use mid journey to create your art and bring it over here and just have some extra fun why not uh, let me know if you have any questions thank you